Okay, uh, another attack here for war. Um, taking a little bit different approach here on this one. So I'm going to use the Fantastic Four against Asgardians, which is a pretty common counter. Now, one thing I've seen lately is that when trying to punch up or punch across on Asgardians, people have been dropping Thing for Shuri, which I thought about doing here, but then I recalled a comment on one of my YouTube videos a while back by a guy named Snab321. Shout out to you. Thanks for the tip. Uh, but I'm going to be trying something different uh, as a method for attacking with um, with the F4 against Asgardians here. And the difference is uh, the very first turn. So what we're going to do here is, let me, let me back up here for a sec. Um, what we're going to do here is look at the initial attacks, which are actually hitting Invisible Woman, which is very fortunate for me. Um, but with the first turn on my side, Human Torch, we're going to do the basic on Greg. And the reason why is because it'll actually drop my turn meter by 10%. And so the idea here is it actually works out to where the turn order allows Sif to go before your next turn, which would be Namor. And it puts her taunt on her when he ults. Now his ult, if maxed out, which mine is, will actually dispel all of the... Um, buffs on the enemy team except in this case uh, Sif was able to block and thankfully I got lucky here that the one d thing it did dispel was her taunt so granted that may be a bit of luck for me here uh, but I do find this interesting because I get rid of that taunt and that lets me go after whoever I want and as you can see here I just start lighting up Thor because once you get Thor off the board it's generally pretty easy to win unless it's an enormous Hela. So we want to get Hela and Loki next. Um, I usually just take whatever I can get between the two of them. Uh, whoever I can kill first, I'm, I'm happy to kill either one and then just focus the rest down um, slowly. But you can see here, you know, Loki is um, pretty squishy regardless. And so the idea here is just to uh, try to AOE him or Hela down. Although they did heal quite a bit here. <laughs> So it'll take a little bit longer to kill them, uh, but that's okay. We have the uh, Namor special here, and um, my problem is if I try to do the Namor special on the left there, it's going to kill two Gregs. So instead I just opt for the basic to avoid um, killing Gregs and letting them heal more. And you can see here, uh, they still have the Loki on the board. Hela just got removed, and then uh, once, once we get rid of Hela, it's not too bad. Um, we should be able to finish off Loki here pretty quick, and then the rest of the team. Oh, and then, yeah, Human Torch ult with offense up does a lot of damage, and then it's just clean up from here. Uh, but I thought this was an interesting method because there aren't a lot of teams that, you know, you can do this with, but keeping Fantastic Four together I do think is optimal. Um, I like keeping Thing on that team uh, just because of what he provides the rest of the team with the bonus armor, as well as... Uh, the assists that you can get from Mr. Fantastic. So that one in particular was uh, my my F4 was 356k versus Nasgardian's team that was 371k. So it does work pretty well, but again, I did get a little bit lucky getting rid of that taunt. Um, you know, Sif is if if she's boosted, she's going to have a whole lot of deflects that'll help her resist that buff removal, which could leave you in a bind if you're counting on that and. Uh, she she resists the taunt removal but it is interesting anyway because uh, it's just a slight adjustment I don't think it wrecks your strategy if you can't clear the sift taunt because uh, you can certainly win with this team against Desguardian straight up anyway um, it's just a little bit different methodology to give you a better chance of winning and so increasing your chances is always better uh, than not doing so so <laughs> interesting method I liked it a lot thanks again uh, for the tip and uh, we'll, uh, I'll try this again in another war, see if I can find a bit better punch up. But now I'm, I'm really interested in trying this against like a 420 squad or so and see how that does. But we'll check it out uh, when I get a chance to attack something like that. So thanks for checking this out.